Hey, Brendan. Nice event here. Uh, beat the streets, Newark. I think you guys hit a home run. How do you guys feel? We feel good. Yeah, there's always there's a lot of anticipation. Uh, normal to have some free for us. This is like a competition, free competition anxiety, uh, which is good. Keeps us on our toes, but uh, we're, we're pretty thrilled from attendance to fundraising. We raised over 1.2 million. Um, filled the stands. Uh, I think it was high production value. Um, things went smoothly, and uh, we hope the athletes and the fans got their money's worth. We had a, got a, had a great experience. Obviously, one thing that's probably disappointing to everybody is there's no Cox versus uh, Snyder matchup, right? That's the one everybody wants to see. Doesn't happen. Jaden has an injury. But despite that, I think, I mean, we'll call that a bump in the road. I think it came off without a hitch. What would you say? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's it's this this was our first rodeo at a, an arena this size. Which every t every time you go into a new arena, there's new things to learn. One thing I've learned in just producing events is you just nothing can be completely 100% planned for. Uh, but of all the events that we've run, this has been the most smooth, and we've really enjoyed working with Prudential. Knowing you guys had a home run here, in my opinion, right? Knowing you hit a home run. What's it like going into work on Monday after, you know, a huge momentum building and a huge momentum boost for you guys at Beat the Streets New York City? What's it like going into work on Monday? Yeah, it's, 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 it's emotional um, because the last two months just have completely flown by. There are so many details and uh, just so many just uh, so many things just got to manage. And so uh, you really see the passion of our staff coming through. And um, it's a it's it's a total collaborative effort, not just with our staff, but uh, production team here at Prudential. Um, our, our producer that we hired, Damian Santucci, is phenomenal. Uh, Dylan Wanagill and his team were were terrific. Um, USA Wrestling, uh, Flo, um, um, yeah, just the partners, people who support, funded us. Uh, it's been uh, a total team effort. So it's it's really cool when we to see people come together and, and try and do something special. Family environment today. Your son's on the mat with you for one of the uh, the presentations and announcements. What was it like having your son out in center stage with you in, in front of uh, 10,000 people? Yeah, it gave me chills. Uh, it was it was really cool. Um, it was just a special moment. I really wanted to do it and try and find a way to, uh, I was like, well, what can I say that's gonna weave it? And it was just like, just say it simply. I want him to be around wrestling. Wrestling's changed my life. and. You know, I, I hope he, uh, he he can experience what I did, but if nothing else, he got an incredible uh, day today around greatness, role models, and uh, the great sport of wrestling. What was awesome for me is kids were talking about actual life skills today, not just you know, oh, they, they you know they give us tutoring, they give us a place to work out. They we're talking about life skills today, resumes, job interview skills, things that are you know helping them get human resource things right, like they can apply to their life moving forward. What's it like knowing that you guys are expanding the mission of Beat the Streets New York City? Yeah, it's, it's um, you know, the way we kind of describe, the way that we describe what we do is we, we, we utilize wrestling as the vehicle. Wrestling is the vehicle. It's why we're here. We're a wrestling organization. But a term we hear a lot is youth development, sports-based youth development. So it's using sport, but additionally, we use wrestling as a hook to get kids uh, to expose them to different experiences and different types of learning and life skills that they normally wouldn't be exposed to. And when you do that, it's just it's a comprehensive, uh, holistic approach to working with kids. I love it. We're finishing up here. We've got Chance Marsteller coming out here. He just knocked off one of the kings of uh, the sport of wrestling in the United States of America. Went to a third match in New Jersey. The crowd was up for it. Um, probably not the result a lot of people wanted, but, you know, hey, we're here for it. You got anything else for me? Uh, I just uh, just stoked about a, uh, a terrific day. And uh, After party? Thank you, man. A after party? Uh, we got an after party at, at uh, Reds right now. Will they let me in? We'll see what I can do. Right? Will they sniff we'll out that I'm know. like a hillbilly I and I shouldn't be there? I think, I you think, know some people? I, yeah, yeah. All right. But thank you for being here. You're part of this team and appreciate all you're doing for wrestling. Coach Buckley, thank you for the time. Good luck to you moving forward. Thanks, nice, buddy.